In today's episode of Back Your Book with Brody, we're talking about an insect that lives high up in the trees. Hey buddy, what is that we hear? Cicadas. Cicadas, right? They've been out like crazy, right? That's how you know it's summertime. All right, what do we have today? What? This is one of your favorite insects. Don't tell us, don't tell us. Put your hand in there and then show us. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Oh, why is it not? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it What is that, buddy? A walking stick. Not any kind of walking stick. What type of walking stick? A giant walking okay, stick. Okay, so how many types of walking sticks are there in Missouri? Two. There's two. So there's the giant walking stick, and then there's the northern walking stick. Logan, watch it, please. Buddy, pick it up. Be gentle with him, please. And um, what is interesting about this? What about, What's interesting about its size? Um... It's big. Yeah, is it the, what is it? What record does it have in Missouri? Um, I think seven inches. It's, it gets about seven inches, the females do, but that makes it the biggest, biggest insect in the state, yeah. right? Yeah, but not in the whole entire world. Okay, so what, how do we know that this is a uh, giant walking stick versus a northern walking stick? There's two ways to tell, right? Yeah. So one is its size. What's the other thing to look for? Um, the spikes. It has these spikes. Yeah, you can see All right, them. hold on. Hold on. I'll, gentle, gentle. Let me see. Just, just let it be on your hand, and I'll see if I can show there. You can see the spikes right there on the back legs. Can, can they see the eyes from it? Okay, uh, hold on. Stop moving it. So the camera keeps changing focus when you... Here, I'll zoom back out. It's not, it's not focusing. There, it can, they can see it. All right, bud. So what else do you know about the these walking sticks? Um, they are giant. Yeah, but what do they, when do they come out? Night. They're nocturnal, right? Yeah, that's, that's why we found them in the afternoon. Yeah, we found them in the afternoon. And you typically don't, they're common, right? They are common in Missouri. Yes, they are. But you don't see them a lot because yeah. where do they live? Up in the trees. Up high up in the trees. So you only see them when they're down on the ground, which yeah, is very rare. Yeah, we only rare. see them if they're on the walls or if they're on the sidewalk. Yeah. Well, I've catched one on that oak tree before. Yeah. So why why would they be up in the trees? What What is up in the trees that they like to eat? Oak leaves. Oak leaves. And what, but they have to walk well, out. Not, oak leaves is what they like the yeah. best, right? But they actually like a lot of different trees, right? Oak, walnut, cherry... And there you go, doing your thing. You like to let these guys walk on you. We were at a scout mm -hmm. recruitment meeting today where you were meeting all kinds of kids. You found this guy on the side of the school and you were showing this guy to all the kids that were coming up, right? And teaching them how to hold him. Gentle. Teaching them how to hold him and, and letting him walk on. Look, he's going to climb up on your head. That was the other thing you like to do. You like to let, let him climb up on top of your head. So, it tickles. yeah, it does tickle. They're really light, right? Yeah, they're really light and peery feeling. Okay, so he likes leaves and he's up in the tree. Why? What does he look like? Stick. He looks like a stick, and why do they look like sticks? Um, for they're safe from their natural predator. Very good. What do we call that? Bird. No, a uh, bird is their natural yeah. predator, but what do we call it when something looks like something else to Mick. hide? Well, not mimic, camouflage. Camouflage. Mimic is when they look. Well, I guess technically it could be mimic because they're mimicking a stick. But or twig. Well, or twig, yeah. So they climb up in a tree. Now we we said we know this is a male because of its spikes on its legs, right? What? How do the females? How do they reproduce? Um. What do the females do? They live in the trees. Mm -hmm. And then they drop their eggs. And fall down into. Yeah, so they're up in the tree, and then the eggs, they lay the eggs while they're up there, and the eggs fall all the way down, down to the ground. And what's what's on the ground at that time of year? 
leaves. Leaves, right? And then, uh, and then what happens with the eggs? Um. Do they stay on the ground? Yes. All through. What what season is that? Um. When it snows, yeah, winter. winter. And then what happens in the springtime? They come. They hatch. They hatch, and then what do the babies do? They climb up the tree. They come climb back up the tree. But they'll never get to see their mom and dad. No, because they die yeah. in the winter time. Isn't that sad? Yeah. But they climb back up the tree and they go through several period several things of molts, right? Where they eventually get to be this size. Okay. Yes. Right? And then in late summer, early oh, fall. Well, a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit bigger, but in late summer, early fall, they do it all over again. Yeah, they right? Do it all over again. That's pretty cool. So we said birds were their, their primary predators. You also mentioned that turtles and lizards would probably, and snakes would probably eat them if yeah. they get, if they get a hold of them. Um, what Wasn't else do we know? It, like, oh, ringnecks would eat the babies. Yeah, probably. Okay. Now listen, this is kind of interesting. You told me this. What insects were these guys used to be grouped in with? Um, uh, crickets and grasshoppers. Yeah, so they thought that they had them all in the same family, right? Yeah. And then they spread them, they separated them out. And what family are they in now? Um, uh. Yeah, you had it. What's it called? Pronounce it out. Uh. Fast. Fast. Fastnids. And how many phasnids are there? Three. No, five. No, five. Five, but how many walking sticks are there? Two. Two in Missouri. Cool, bud. All right, let's see. There it is on your back of your head. Okay, you want to let it go? We got to let it go back up in the tree. Gentle. Leave it on your head and go take it off when you get over by the tree. Okay. All right, buddy, what are we going to do? Put it back on the tree. Put it on the tree so it can go up and live its best I life. I actually just let it on the ground and I'll just climb back up on yeah, the come tree. Come over here. Come over here. He's letting it go right now. I just let it go on the ground, Gentle. and then we'll just climb back up See it right there? The tree. Now, so now, buddy, we know that giant walking sticks yeah, are of... usually a color of tan, brown, or green, right? Yeah. Now, the northern walking sticks, they're, they're, you can tell the difference between females and males, right? Because yeah. the northern walking sticks, the males are brown, and go the females the are green. Go to the tree. Go to the tree. Let it be. It'll go. I see a pendra on its back. Yeah, you know what that's called? That what? little that little thing on the back? Let me see if I can... But I know what that's used for. It's called a Circe. Why is okay? it Circe? Well, because animals that have those, like the earwig, we did a video on earwigs. Mm -hmm. um, they can use that to pinch things. Now, earwigs use their Circes to help them fight. catch prey and to fight each other for, fe whoa, for territory whoa. and females. But, but these guys, they don't. Now what they can use their Cersei for is they can use it to grab a hold of things, like if they're up in the tree. And, and they're they ready to fall down. They yeah. just hang on with the, to the branches down. And then they, yeah, that's and right. And then they swing. Yep. They swing and then they grab on and then they climb upside Very down. Very good. Uh, but, they're, but the one thing is that they're not going to pinch you with that, okay? Yeah. Like, well, I should say most of the time they don't. All right, buddy, I don't think this guy's going to move yes. because it's dark. Do you want to put him on the side of the tree or do you want to just leave him there? Um, I'll get him. I'll get him. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. But that's a good question, Logan. I like that you asked what that, that hook thing was on its back. I have to get up on it. Yeah. And why do they have, and I don't know why they it's have. It's um, no, It's your favorite type of tree. It's your favorite type of tree. On those back Yay. wings. Why does it have the spikes on its back's legs? Yeah. I, you know, I don't really, I, I don't really know if they're there for any particular reason. I, I doubt I, that I, it's got anything to do with defense or anything. I I'm think, not really sure. I think they're there just to like, um, spike, like you scare know what? away predators. You know what stuff. we will do? Brody will look it up and then we'll put it in the description if there's a if there's a reason for those spikes, wait, right? Guys, wait. What? There's a squirrel nest up there. There is a squirrel nest up there. That's oh, right. That all right, we're going to let this guy climb up and do what he does. Brody, what do you want to say to everybody? Thanks for watching Make Everyday Adventures. We'll Look how high he is. Bye, guys. Look how high he is. Yeah, there he goes. He's walking. Bob. Oh, he's, he, he's looking out for birds.